So yesterday I talked about what the meta was, but today I'll be talking about what the meta will be, because of course we have both the Sova and Jet nerfs to talk about and how that will affect those agents, and also the introduction of Fade and what maps Fade will be good on. And so that's what we're going to do. But first we're going to introduce you to Fade if you haven't seen anything about it yet. Uh, so thank you Ryan Central for this video, and we're just going to quickly go through the ability. So uh, the first one here is this little prowler that uh, basically you can send around corners. You can see it doesn't last too long, but then if it hits someone, uh, if it finds someone, one, it will latch onto them, chase them down, and uh, give them near sight. The second ability is her E ability that uh, you uh, can throw somewhere and it pings people through walls, much like a Sova. Uh, dart does and then also leaves a little trail as well and the thing is that little prowler ability we saw before if you use that on this trail it will follow the trail and go straight to the person. Her third ability is this little orb here that you throw on the ground and uh, it can stop people from running outside of that circle that you saw there. They also take 75 decay damage if they are within that circle to start with. And then lastly we have her ult. You can see it has a very wide area of effect there. It also looks really cool but what it does is it marks you and it also gives you that decay damage. Uh, so again, you can attach those little prowlers to it to follow people and that will uh, happen for everyone within that big area. And so looking at Fade overall as an agent, what I expect from her is to be a bit of an aggressive initiator, much more aggressive than Sova. The reason for that is you can't throw her abilities that far. In fact, you can only throw those throwable abilities as far as you can with uh, Phoenix Molly. Uh, they have the same kind of duration as that. So not really that far at all. And also the Prowler, you know, didn't last that long either. So I expect her to be a very aggressive agent that tries to chain her utility together. I'm seeing her much as kind of a utility dump agent, right? You're going to throw the E ability, then that's going to see someone, you're going to throw the little uh, orb that traps them into a certain area, then you're going to send the prowler at them, they're going to have decay, they're going to be nearsighted, they can't do anything, right, you're going to kill them. That's how I see you using Fade in the game, as an aggressive initiator that, you know, gets information and is able to play off of that herself. Unlike Sova, where, you know, you kind of have to be a bit further back, you're darting from very far, maybe someone else gets the kill uh, from a Sova dart, instead, you're going to be the one, often, that will be getting that kill with Fade. So that's how I see her playing out. And so now let's talk about each map and uh, talk about, you know, Sova, Jet and Fade. Unfortunately, Valor Plant doesn't have Fade on here yet. So I'm having to use Phoenix as a sub in here uh, because no one would confuse Phoenix for anything else and talk about each map and whether these agents will be good. And so let's start with Ascent and let's start with uh, Sova. And Sova obviously is doing a pretty similar thing to Fate. I don't necessarily think you'd ever pick the two agents together. I will say in this video, I'm going to assume that Fade is, you know, in a kind of good, healthy area in terms of balance, that she's not super OP and she's not super underpowered because if she is super OP, then yeah, play her on every map. And if she is super underpowered, then don't play her, uh, you know, would be my guess. But I'm going to assume that she's kind of in that sky to KO area, you know, that like good you can pick her she's a healthy agent in the game uh, that's what i'm gonna assume but as i said i don't think you'd pick sova or fade like together uh so i think you know it will be a bit of a one or the other and i think ascent is an interesting map to start with because of course this is basically sova's home map everyone picks sova on ascent and so will that change well particularly early on i don't expect so because you know there will be so many pro players and just players in general that will feel like i've mastered sova on this map you know, I, I know all the lineups, I know everything, I know the timings, I know when to drone, you know, where to drone from, all of that, I know where the best alt spots are. There will be so many people like that, that I feel like, you know, most people will just want to pick Sova, <laughs> because Sova's really good on this map, and so I do expect that Sova will, you know, kind of keep that home ground on Ascent, uh, at least for a little while, unless someone can prove that Fade is worth picking over Sova, and like, proves, no, this agent is really good on this map, I think that most people will go for Sova uh, as it is. When it comes to Jet, when we need to talk about Jet is obviously Chamber, Neon, and Race, because those are the three agents that I think you would replace Jet with. Obviously, Chamber for the defensive side and Neon and Race for more of the offensive side when it comes to uh, Jet as a whole. And I do think that on this map, uh, you know, we could see some teams lean to Chamber. You know, that would mean less Killjoy, but I do still think Killjoy is a very good option on this map as well. So I don't think it'll be too many teams. And so in terms of defensive opping, Jet, sure was maybe the best character now she's worse than chamber but she's still probably better than everyone else still uh so i still would expect quite a bit of jet on this map as well and also for attacking onto sites 
uh, you know, I feel like what can often happen on this map, right, is you dash in as Jet and you have, you know, this cloudburst that you dash into. And that's great because what's happening is the rest of your team is stuck behind like Killjoy Nano Swarms here, right? Like you just have these Nano Swarms and they're really annoying and your rest of your team is just stuck in here. And so you just have to live for a bit longer in here. Uh, and Jet allows you to do that with the cloudburst. Now, Neon kind of can allow you to do that as well with the fast lane. You know, she gives you some cover there. Um, and so maybe some teams will lean to Neon, but I do still expect that most teams will be picking Jet. Okay, let's quickly move on to Bind. And if you saw my video yesterday, you'll know that uh, basically Silver and Jet actually aren't good on Bind and never were good on Bind, even before the nerfs. Uh, Jet had a 0% non-mirror win rate. Um, and Sova had like an 18% non-mirror win rate, which means that when a team picks Sova and the other team didn't, the team that picks Sova only won 18% of the time. So basically Sova isn't that good on this map. Jet isn't that good on this map. You shouldn't have been picking those agents anyway. So those two won't really see play. So let's just focus on Fade. Is Fade good on Bind? Well, I think that Fade will have some potential on Bind. You know, as I said, she's a more of a kind of close up agent. You know, she doesn't quite have the range perhaps that Sova does, uh, but on Bind, that's absolutely fine because there's plenty of close little corners like in Hooker here that you want to clear, maybe in U-Haul here you want to clear, maybe Garden here, there's showers as well. Like there's plenty of good, like close little angles that you'll want to be playing on. Um, and so I do expect that Fade might see some pick on this map. I think that she could be a pretty decent option overall. Uh, as I said, Sova wasn't really doing that well, so maybe if you do want that information gain, uh, you know, Fade could be a pretty good option overall uh, and, you know, could chain utility. I'm thinking of like, you know, you put the little thing that traps them in this corner. Let's say someone's playing a new hole here. You trap them in this corner and then you raise nade them, you know, little combos like that could be very, very effective on this map. And so I do expect that Fade could be pretty decent. Now let's come to Breeze and let's start with Sova versus Fade. As I said, Fade is a bit more of a close up personal kind of agent. And uh, unfortunately, Breeze is a very massive map. And so I don't really see it any way that this could really be a fade map and not a silver map because it is important that you can you know send a recon dart from down here and hit it over there uh you know that is pretty important on this map and so i do expect like i the, i don't even want to think about what the range is for how close you have to be to get the little e ability from fade like back here you know you probably have to be on site i would guess so yeah, it, it, I, I think that this one is just an absolute silver map. In terms of Jet, again, Jet will definitely be a very good option on this map as well. Um, but I do wonder if some teams will think maybe we don't even need a duelist on this map. Particularly the way, I mean, maybe this goes just in my head because I just watched Optic play on Breeze. And the way that Optic played on Breeze was like heavy mid control. And Ye was playing Jet, and I don't think he ever once like used his dash to entry onto site, or he definitely didn't do it oftentimes, or at least the rounds that they were winning anyway. Um, so I I do wonder whether a lot of teams will even feel the need to necessarily, you know, we have to have that Jet uh, on this map, or even a Duelist on this map. I do think it's possible you could go a no Duelist comp on Breeze. I do expect, though, that, again, most teams will probably stick with Jet, but you definitely probably will be picking Chamber, so... You might not need Jet. Certainly for the defensive op side, you have probably a chamber anyway, so that will fill that niche for you. Um, and, you know, on the attacking side, as I said, particularly on the A side, I really don't necessarily think you need a Jet all that much. Okay, now let's come to Fracture. And uh, this is the same as Blind, where you shouldn't be picking uh, either Sova or Jet. They aren't that good on this map. So uh, that's that sorted. And now let's talk about Fade. And this one is kind of a bit interesting for Fade. I was trying to think of where the best place is to put the like E ability is, like up high, maybe, you know, maybe somewhere like over here, maybe on this box on A. But I feel like there's a lot of little boxes to hide behind on Fracture in general, and so I'm not quite sure that that will be the best use, but the other abilities like the Prowler and like the little trap thing that, you know, keeps you in that area, those abilities I think will be good. And again, combination with raise nades, with breach uh, stuns as well, and aftershocks, like those abilities I can see being really, really strong indeed. Uh, so I do think, again, there will be some potential. And of course, everyone knows the little breach uh, rolling thunder from underneath the underpass, which hits this entire B site, right? Like everyone knows that. Well, you could maybe, you know, do both, right? You could you could do both a uh, fade ult 
into then a breach ult and you can then see where they actually are as a part of that breach ult as well. So I do think that there is definitely, again, some potential for Fade. Uh, Fracture is a map where, you know, there's a lot of disagreement in terms of what you actually want to play. So I definitely could see Fade come onto this map. Okay, now let's move to Haven. And uh, this one is quite interesting. Let's start with Jet because uh, Jet here, uh, again, has been a very common pick uh, for a lot of Haven. And again, this is normally a Killjoy map. But as I said yesterday, Killjoy actually isn't doing that well on this map at all. And when teams pick Cypher or Chamber, they actually beat Killjoy quite often. So I do wonder if teams will lean away from Killjoy and go to Chamber instead on this map. Uh, because if that is the case, then maybe you feel like, especially defensively, there isn't that need for Jet. You know, if you've got the chamber and you've got the chamber up, you don't need Jet to up instead. And we have seen some teams, uh, again, like Optic, uh, you know, lean away from that and go for Neon instead. And so maybe we'll probably see more of that would be my guess. I do still think that Jet will be good on this map. I think that Jet still makes a lot of sense on this map. These sites are very big and open for the most part on the A and C site. You know, you look at how many like boxes or things to hide behind there actually is for an attacker from an attacking point. You know, there isn't that much. So having a Again, that Cloudburst is quite good for both of these sites. So I still think that Jet will be good on this map, but I do expect some, some teams to lean away from. Uh, when it comes to Sova versus Fade, Sova, it turns out, not doing that well statistically on this map. You know, Sova, there's a lot of, again, disagreement in terms of, you know, what initiator combo you want to play. Literally all, like, six initiator combos of, you know, Sova Breach, Sova Sky, Sova KO, KO Sky... Kale Breach, Breach Sky, like all of them were ran by different teams at different points. Um, and there seems to be no real agreement. But Sova and Breach didn't do as well as Sky and KO. And I do wonder if, you know, you still get that information gathering, you know, which I think is very good on Haven. I think that the range limitation won't be as big of a deal on Haven as it might be on some other maps either. Um, and so I do think that Fade, I think this could actually be Fade's best map. I think that you could get some really good ults, like, you know, if we take a look at a Breach ult, like some really good ults here on uh, on the side of like the A site here. I think that there's plenty of close little areas as well, like, you know, in Garage or maybe in A Short as well, that you can use those Prowlers and whatnot. I think that there is enough here that kind of works all well for Fade. You know, I don't think the ranges will be too much. I'm picturing like, you know, you stand here, you throw the little orb thing, it comes up here, it reveals everyone back here and maybe even back here as well. We'll have to see how that works. Uh, but, you know, things like that, I can see working really well uh, for Fade, and so I wouldn't be surprised if Haven becomes a, a very good map for her. Now let's move on to Icebox, and this is one again where it's a Sova 100% pick rate map, and uh, I would be shocked again with just, you know, I know Sova on this map. I've played Sova a million times on this map. I want to keep playing Sova on this map, and I think that Sova will be good enough to see play on this map as well. I think even with the drone nerf, It'll still be good enough. I, I I still think that this is just has to be a Sova home map, just the way that it is. You know, you want to play like, let's say you're on the defensive side, a Sova often will play here, you know, and often will have, you know, need to dart down here. There might be shock darts, you know, that you need to know for back here, for instance. You know, often a common thing is a shock dart from spawn to kill like chamber traps in this area or just alarm bots or whatever it might be, right? Like there's you can't do that with fate. So Silver will still definitely be played on this map uh, 100%. And so that means Fade, not a map for Fade, unfortunately. Um, but Jet is a more interesting one because we have seen teams already lean away from playing a duelist on this map. G2 famously, you know, ran like the most defensive comp you could ever imagine on this map and still found attacking success with it. And also, you know, Optic as well, running no duelist with no jet comp on this map. And so I do expect maybe more teams will do exactly the same uh, with the jet nerf. They'll see, again, it wasn't necessarily that you needed jet to dash in onto this site. You know, oftentimes team would literally just walk up because uh, that's the way Icebox is kind of played. You know, you just walk up, you put a sage wall down, you plant the spike, you play post plant. You don't really need like a jet to entry onto site. So I could see a world where actually no duelists comp become meta. And finally, let's come to split. And uh, split again is another map. Obviously, you're not picking Sova. Uh, you shouldn't really be picking Jet. She isn't that great on this map either. So that's pretty easy. And then when we're talking about Fade, this is another map I could see Fade doing very, very well on. Uh, again, there's a lot of, you know, I mean, in mid here, you know, you can see her clearing out with the Prowlers, both these angles, you know, you can see putting like an eye back here to scan anyone back here, right? Right. 
there's just a lot of things that I think you can use pretty well. You know, you, you look about like alts and things, you know, this is like a breach shield that's very good or, or even into heaven potentially uh, is very good as well. I just think there's a lot of things that you can do with fade on this map. I wouldn't be surprised if split becomes another kind of home map. Again, another map where there's a lot of kind of uncertainty, you know, haven and split, which I kind of think will be her best two maps. There is a lot of uncertainty as well in terms of what teams are picking you know a lot of disagreement about what the best comp is they're two maps that you know no one can seem seemingly agree on there isn't a set meta like a scent for instance so i do expect that that's a space you know that's a space that fade can fill you know no one can agree so fade can fit into these two maps and i think she will be good on those maps as well right like the information gain will be very useful and uh, i i feel like on split in particular None of the initiators feel that great. You know, I, I feel like they're a bit clunky in all instances. You know, like they have parts of the map where they're good, but other parts where they aren't quite as good. Uh, and, and it always feels a bit clunky, I think. So uh, I do expect that Split is a map where it's prime for Fade to take over as like the main initiator of this map. Like, you know, the sort of auto lock initiator of Split. I wouldn't be shocked if that happened. And so here are my overall takeaways. Jet will be good on Ascent and Haven and OK on Breeze and Icebox. Silver will be good on Ascent, Breeze and Icebox and OK on Haven. And Fade will be good on Bind, Split and Haven and OK on Fracture and Ascent. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this is right. The last time I did this with a control controller changes I was pretty right for a lot of it so hopefully uh, I can uh, keep up that prediction streak and uh, yeah I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts in the comments down below.